Hello, I'm Eric Hunter. Adjacent to this curtain, and this is Behind the Curtain. Here we showcase student productions, whether it be short films for class, a personal project, or even a feature film. This week, we'll be showcasing the short film The Armor, directed by Sebastian Russell. The Armor is a comedy fantasy film about a knight who receives enchanted armor meant to aid him in his quest to defeat a great foe. Let's take a look, and afterwards, we'll sit down with Sebastian Russell himself and his director of photography, Brody McFadden. Thank you, brave knight, for we could not have defeated Jared the Deadly without the sword of ferocity. I do what I must, for the sake of protecting the kingdom. Unfortunately, a blight upon our kingdom known as God on the Dragon has stolen all of our gold. Would you like to accept this quest? Not yet, church member two. You're gonna ruin this. To defeat God on the dragon, you will require the armor of the Covenant. It is the strongest armor west of the demonic stronghold. It was crafted by the blind monks three. I believe this to be your destiny. Would you like to accept this quest? Aye. Then take this to aid you in your journey. This is always the weirdest part. They just stand there. Yes, yes. Give him a moment. Scrolling through inventory takes time. Thank you for this fine addition to my armor. I wear it with pride. Be warned. The armor of the Covenant is rendered useless when worn with anything else. Uh, nothing else? And you're positive this will protect me? Certainly. There is no finer armor in all of our territory. Yes, of course. A thousand apologies. No, no. You mustn't apologize to us. We are in your debt after all. Go forth and make us proud. Do you think he'll succeed? We can only hope. Because we're running out of clothes to enchant, and there's another knight on the way. What do we have left? Uh, I have a pair of socks. That'll do. Did I do better with my line this time? Yeah, you did. I can tell you've been practicing. Oh, good. All right, it's showtime, everyone. Places. Thank you, brave knight, for we could not have defeated Gerard the Deadly without the spear of your mom. Welcome back. I'm here with Sebastian Russell and Brody McFadden. Thanks for being on the show, guys. Really appreciate Thanks it. Thanks for having us. Thanks hands. for having me. Jeez, there we go. <laughs> okay, we got it. Uh, so, I loved the film. Uh, it was great. Uh, it was really funny. Uh, overall, just a beautiful, beautiful film. Uh, I'm interested. Uh, th this question is more directed at you, Sebastian, since you were the director, but Brody, as director of photography, uh, feel free to chime in. Uh, wh where did the inspiration for this project come from? Um, yeah, so we made it for a competition, which we can talk about later, um, but the inspiration really came from, I had recently been given um, the armor that like is in the show, and I just wanted to make something using that, and I just wrote that with my writing partner, uh, based around that armor, essentially. Okay. Yeah, it's pretty simple. <laughs> so, so the whole the whole thing was based on the fact that you had received that that armor and you pretty much, yeah. And That's I just was awesome. like, what can I do with this prop? Uh, and I thought like video game tropes are always fun. Right. And, yeah. I thought I thought combining the the armor with video game tropes was was pretty hilarious. And I thought all your props, including the, the armor. Uh, were really cool. Uh, the, uh, the the churchgoers' outfits, uh, the uh, Balthazard's outfit, his his whole costume, his beard even was was really cool. Speaking of, I know that this was this was a project that was it, it was mostly comprised of of college aged students. 
Um, who is Balthazar? Yeah, uh, so Balthazar is just uh, my dad. Okay. Um, I, because we were writing it and we were like, we can't have a college student be the like older wise wizard. And so the only person I could really think of that would do it for free was my dad. And I called him up and he was like, yeah, I guess so. I guess I'll do that. And then I was like, okay, well, if we could like kind of run through the script at some point, that would, that would be great. He was like, no, I don't audition. Obviously <coughs> joking, but uh, yeah, that's how I got my dad <laughs> to be in my short film. So he didn't run through the script at all whatsoever? Did we, we did. Oh, we, did okay. we ended up uh, going over it uh, once or twice just so I could get him on the right page. Okay. Yeah. I was going to say that was it, his performance was stellar. Yeah, it, he, was, he, it was he really good. It, the park. it was he really did. good. He did a great job. Uh, so besides, besides him, uh, who, who else helped you on this project besides Brody, of course? Uh, so, so many people. You don't have to name them. Just, just no, I'll, I'll name all of them right now. Here we Let's go. go for it. <laughs> I won't name all of them. Um, I mean, my, writer, my writing partner for like all of my projects is my uncle. Uh, he's only three years older than me, though, so it's close age. Right. Um, I don't know, a, lot of, a lot of people, a lot of good people, a lot of them at the media school. Some have already graduated. Um, Brody, is there anyone else that, you should speci that we should specifically um, name? I mean, Lydia is always a great help. She always shows up when yeah, Lydia does whatever we need. Lydia to did get audio done. for that one, and then was also one of the monks, one, one the of the blind, the, monks. the blind monks, along with. Brody and you were here. one of the blind. Monks I was. As well, I right? did it, make that an was, appearance. It, it, that was. It was beautiful. Yeah, it was honestly. kind of an impromptu thing. We just kind of ran out of people who weren't already <laughs> in the film, so they're like, "All right, Brody, you're you gotta play a blind monk." So I'm like, "All right, <laughs> let's do it." Well, well, that's y your your part as the blind monk was was pretty good. It was stellar. You. Uh, your bow was was on point. You were a very convincing blind person, I will say. Um, but moving away from that, uh, wh what was your experience being the director of photography on set? How, how did that go? Uh, yeah, it was it was definitely different from a lot of things I've done in the past. Considering we had a lot of handheld, um, we kind of split the film into like two kind of styles. We had what we called video game vision, which is the more like cinematic look that you kind of see like if you were playing a video game, like a cutscene or something. And then we had the handheld, and that kind of like puts you with the actual characters yourself. And it was kind of filmed in like, kind of reminded me of like a mockumentary of sorts with like the handheld, you're like kind of switching back and forth between characters, kind of reminded me of like The Office or Parks and Rec. Mm -hmm. And that was cool because those are some of my favorite shows. So right. it's definitely a fun project to work on. I definitely saw allusions to, to shows like Parks and Rec and in the office in there, especially in the, the meta bits. I thought those were hilarious. Um, and I, I thought the way that uh, you you split up the, the meta bits from the video game vision was, was it, I could tell. It was because it, it, the, the video game parts, they were color graded beautifully. There was the music, the, the, the subtitles that you put in. Everything was, everything was, was beautiful. It was, it was very aesthetically pleasing. And then you cut to the meta bits that weren't, weren't necessarily color graded as much. And it, it, the, the contrast really allowed the story to flow. And overall, it was, I thought that was a hilarious concept. I really enjoyed that. Uh, it's my understanding that this film has been submitted for, uh, it's in the running for, for a contest. Uh, would, you, would you like to speak on that a little bit more? Yeah, so it's a, it's a yearly competition held by Rode. It's the audio company, like they make microphones and, and all that jazz. Um, and it's called My Road Reel. It happens every year for the past seven years. Um, and there's different categories. There's comedy, which is what we're trying to do with the armor. Um, <coughs> there is best drama, best documentary, best animation. And then there's also like People's Choice Award, which like people can go on the website and vote for, which the link is in my video's description, which I'm sure you can get in this description. Um, and then there's also like a, a judge's pick of like best overall. And that, <laughs> that winner gets a ridiculous amount of money. It's uh, $250,000. Goodness. And yeah. <laughs> and then a lot of like f uh, filming equipment. And it's right. lights, lenses, uh, audio equipment, obviously, because it's road. Um, and so, yeah, we're just trying, or hoping, hoping for the best. Really trying to manifest that 250 grand. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, when, when will uh, when will the winner of this competition be announced? When's when's that going? Um, so as of what today is the 21st when we're taping this. Uh, so they just closed 22nd. I don't know. <coughs> they just closed the entries, um, and as of right now, you can still vote. But I think there's over 800 entries that the three judges have to watch all of them. So like 
they have to watch all of them and then they choose. So it'll still be like a month or two before they really choose uh, like the winners. Sweet. I don't know how long voting is open. The website unfortunately doesn't say this year. Interesting. Yeah. Well, as of now, it's it's currently open. Yeah. So uh, check it out if you want and uh, vote 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 for it if you want to see more content by these guys because I thought it was absolutely amazing. It was stellar. Uh, I, I do have one more question uh, at the at the very end. Uh, I thought that that part was hilarious where where you you walk into frame and and the the, the, the knight is just dead at this point and you take the you take the uh, the sword from him and uh, you're completely nude and I, I'm just I'm just curious what what was it like being uh, uh, completely nude on set if, if you were well in oh fact yeah. nude on set so I wasn't completely nude I, I had uh, boxer briefs on that okay. I, I rolled up okay so that okay. like there would be less <laughs> surface area that's covered <laughs> right um and then it so what, what was it like having so much surface area <laughs> uh out for the world to see uh r great breeze you know i can imagine <laughs> really <laughs> aired out the system <laughs> um i don't know it was it was funny because like there were a few people that like we were like they didn't need to be there anymore because we filmed that part last um, and so I was like, uh, these people, like, you guys are free to go. Thank you for your help. Uh, and then they're like, no, we're going to we're gonna stay. <laughs> You're going to stick around. I was like, of, of course you are. Yeah. And so I just, like, in, in the middle of the field was just like. <laughs> 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 but you did have the, bo the boxes on rolled up. <coughs> I did, yeah, which was a uh, sight. I mean, I don't I know, Brody, how was it for you? <laughs> it was, uh... I will say, Brody, you're allowed to tell me if he's lying about all of this. No, he, he is telling the truth, I will okay. say that. Um, yeah, he basically... Um, I just had to follow him with the uh, the focus to make sure we, we really get that shot in you that the final shot. shot of the movie. He was so. in focus the whole time. Yeah, so yeah it, was it was really good, Brody. You did a great job. We well, also thank you. We had to do it twice. We uh, did. Because <laughs> Bryce, you know, the, the night, yes. uh, he was dead, and he made the mistake of opening his eyes looking at me <laughs> as I was naked through the field <laughs> playing with the sword, himself. and he so we started help. laughing. Yeah. We had to do it again, which was a little upsetting. Right. <laughs> well, I love the ending. It, it was hilarious. I watched it several times because <laughs> it, it made me laugh so much. I, I'm, I'm glad my, my body is getting attention. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, let's move on from that. Uh, that's all the time we have for today. Uh, and thank you again, guys, for being on the yeah, show. Thank you. Thank uh, you. And thank you for tuning in. Uh, if you or a friend or anyone you know is interested in submitting a student production to be featured here on our show, you can find a link to the form below in the description. Until next time, I'm Eric Hunter, and this has been Behind the Curtain.